Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I am W2Best and I make videos about tech travel and inspiration. Now with significantly less hair than in the previous video, since there are no hairdressers open during lockdown in London, I just decided to pull the plug and finally try shaving off all my hair by myself. And I'm actually quite happy with the results, so I think I'm gonna be sticking to a bit of a shorter haircut moving forward. In this video I will be checking out a solution to the problem that Undervolt is disabled when you download and install the latest BIOS update in Dell Inspiron 15 7000, that's the 7590 and the 7591. This solution was suggested by Stefano Manelli in the comments of the last video I made about these BIOS issues. These are the steps that uh, Stefano suggested and I did the following with my computer and here you can see the process and the results. All right, let's see if we can get this working. To get into the BIOS settings, you need to press F2 at startup. So just restart your computer and then press F2 before the Dell logo shows up and you will be taken into this, the startup manager. And here, if you go down to maintenance, uh, you will find a setting for BIOS recovery. And in BIOS recovery, you can choose restore settings and there you can set it to BIOS default, factory settings, last good known settings or custom user settings. And we're going to set this to BIOS defaults. Here we're also going to make sure under BIOS downgrade that we allow BIOS downgrades. Because if this is not working, we might try to do a BIOS downgrade and see if that helps with fixing the problem of no undervolting. Let's exit this, enter Windows, and see if this works in XTU or Throttle Stop. Setting to factory settings, I was still not able to use either Throttle Stop or XTU for undervolting. It is grayed out in both the different applications, so I decided that I will roll down to the 1.5.1 BIOS instead. To find the BIOS 1.5.1, you will need to enter into Google Dell Inspiron 15 7590 support. I find this is the easiest way to find the drivers and downloads page. So you just click on the first result here from Dell and get to the support page for Dell Inspiron 7590. If you go to the one for 7591, you're going to find the same drivers, so it's not going to be a problem. Then you're going to want to find the older version of the BIOS. And the way that we will do that is to search for BIOS. Then we will get only the latest BIOS. And to get the older versions, we will need to click the arrow out here and then get older versions right next to version 1.6.0 here. You have older versions. When you click that, you will get to a list of the older versions and you can choose which version of the BIOS you want. I will click 1.5.1. .1. Then I come into description page about this BIOS and I will have the opportunity to download it from here. So next to where it describes what formats are available, there is download file and I will download this file right now. I have now downloaded the older BIOS, the 1.5.1. And I'm gonna roll back to the older version of the BIOS to see if this helps the problem and enables undervolting again. We should now be rolled back to BIOS 1.5.1 .1 and let's have a look if we can get XTU to work straight out of uh, rolling back to this old BIOS. And it is still grayed out, but according to the instructions, we should have to restart and restore BIOS to defaults before this should work. So let's try and do that and see what is happening. So we go to maintenance. And then BIOS recovery. And then restore settings. And we choose BIOS defaults. And we restore. Exit the startup menu, 
and then we see how it looks in XTU again. And as you can see, we have no longer grayed out values in XTU. That is absolutely fantastic. I am back with undervolting on my Dell Inspiron 15 7000. And I will be staying on this BIOS, I think, for a foreseeable future. Super happy to get the input from you guys on the videos I made about the BIOS update. Finally, we can have a solution that works and that was relatively simple to push through with. So if you were like me and decided to update to BIOS 1.6.0 and then realized afterwards that this wouldn't work with undervolting, now there is a solution that has been tested by several people including me and that is to roll back to 1.5.1, restart your computer, go into BIOS settings, then go to BIOS default and then when you open XTU you will have undervolting enabled again. It will also work with throttle stop if that is your preferred application for undervolt. I'm super happy about this and finally my computer will be back to its normal silent state and a bit more powerful than what it used to be under the 1.6.0 BIOS. I hope you guys have a real nice day wherever you are and that you are staying safe in the relative amount of lockdown that you are probably in right now. And I will see you guys in the next video. Have a nice day. Bye bye.